Hi everyone and welcome to the video guide for field of view and camera settings. This time we are uh, going to look into uh, the setup of field of view um, in order to better understand uh, what it means, how you can set it up, why it's so important and then uh, at the end we'll talk about some customization further so that you can uh, set up your false feedback for maximum realism um, as well as the best possible uh, view position so that you are ready to attack the track to the maximum and be able to fight with others increasing your spatial awareness. First uh, let's jump into what FOV is or what it stands for. FOV stands for field of U and it's essentially the uh, extent of what you can observe from the world around you at any given moment. Uh, simply put, this is the line of sight from your eyes. We can differentiate between horizontal and vertical field of view and we humans can uh, see more uh, in the horizontal direction than in the vertical direction. Most sims uh, use uh, horizontal field of view settings, including eye racing. Um, it's usually measured e in degrees, and it's basically the angle of the of the observable space in front of you. Um, how does field of view affect uh, you as a driver? Well, uh, it has a large uh, impact on sense of speed as well as uh, distance. So if you set it upright, then uh, you are more likely to uh, be able to judge uh, distances uh, better. For example, uh, braking distance or the gap between your and your opponent cars and so on. Um, the higher your field of view, the more you can um, see uh, of the virtual world, essentially, and you can interpret it as that the screens in front of your eyes is basically uh, taking up your field of view and it tells you how much you can see of the virtual world. The bigger the screens or the closer you sit to your screens, the more you can see of the virtual world and uh, you will have a better uh, field of view. You'll be able to uh, get more immersed and you'll be able to tell, um, uh, again, the closing speeds as well as distances. If your field of view is too small, then you are narrowing your physical view too much and the items in the distance will pass slower, at least it will look like so. But on the other hand, if your field of view is too large, then you're essentially expanding your physical view past what's natural and things in the distance will feel a bit faster than they should be. So how can you set up your uh, field of view then? Uh, well, let's uh, load up the sim. And once you're there, make sure you go to the settings page here. Then find the display. And then you can find the monitor option or, or you can also just click on the monitor or VR setup here. VR is quite a bit easier, but today we'll cover the monitor setups first. So first you will need to input um, what type of screen setup you have. You can normally select between flat and curved screens as well as one or three screens. I have three curved screens so I'm going to select that. Then what you'll need to do is measure the width of your uh, monitors or well in the case of a single monitor of course you will measure uh, the width of your single monitor. In case of uh, three screens you want to measure the width of the middle screen. Whether you use millimeters or inches, that's up to you. Just make sure that whatever measurement unit you use, you also select the one here in this drop down menu here. Furthermore, also measure the width of the bezel. And again, make sure that whatever measurement you come up with, it lines up with the selected uh, unit here. Then I recommend uh, keeping the uh, render screen using three projections on 
And if you have an NVIDIA uh, graphics card, you might as well keep the simultaneous multi-projection on. But let's move on to the actual field of your calculation. So um, once you've measured your monitor width and bezel width, there's one more measurement uh, to be taken, which is the distance between your eyes and your screen or the, uh, or the middle screen if you have multiple screens. Um, in this case, for me, it is 550 millimeters. Again, make sure that you line the uh, unit uh, properly for this to work out well. Then you will also need to put in the radius of curvature if you have three curve, if you have curved screens or a curved screen. And then uh, once you've put in all these data, you just want to click on compute, and it will automatically change the field of view in degrees to whatever the system's calculating for you. For example, if I manage to sit a bit closer to my screen, hit enter and then click, click compute, you can see it changes the uh, uh, field of view a little bit. I'm going to go back just to make sure that my settings are properly done. And then I will uh, save it as such. Now, once you've done the measurements, click on apply and close and you are ready to jump in the car. Now, if uh, you're not super happy with your seat position, despite setting up the field of view uh, based on how we discussed it, you can still adjust your seat position without uh, changing your field of view. If you go back to the replay and select the cockpit camera, then by pressing the Ctrl F12 keybind, which is the default keybind, um, you'll be able, able to open up a camera edit tool here. Uh, you can see there's quite a few different uh, settings here, but what you really want to look into is the placement and aim section. Um, usually I just adjust the positional offsets in X, Y, and Z direction. Uh, the X direction moves the camera further forward or backward without changing the field of view. The offset Y changes it in lateral direction, so side to side, left to right. And the Z position offset is essentially a driver height adjustment, so you can move the camera up or down. See how, uh, as I'm going to change the position offsets one by one, see how uh, nothing uh, around you moves, it's only your seat position. See how the objects in the distance remain at the same point? However, if you change your field of view, um, it would be something different. You can see now that I'm changing my field of view, that everything is moving closer or further to my screen. Now, again, once uh, you're happy with your seat position, make sure that you save it so that whenever you ne next time drive the same car, then you don't have to do this again. Uh, to do so, click on save car, save it as you wish, and then it will automatically load you the same um, seat position the next time you are in the car. Um, that's it really for the FOV and uh, seat position adjustment. Uh, hope this helps and good luck on track.